Hi everyone and welcome. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are in San Gemini, a lovely village with pre-Roman origins located on the southern part of Umbria. This place is famous for its healing waters and it's listed as one of Italy's best villages. The town is located at an altitude of 345 meters. It has fresh summers and some gorgeous Umbria landscapes all around. It is also wonderfully positioned right in between several towns that allow for some pleasant day trips. It is 15 minutes away to Todi and about 30 minutes to an hour to Orvieto, Spoleto, Perugia and Assisi. In terms of airports, it is about an hour 20 to Rome and an hour to Perugia. Today, we will tour together a very charming property embedded in this village. It is the palazzo you see right behind me, dating back to the 16th century and built on Roman foundations. Are you ready to see it? Come with me. The property can be accessed through three separate access points. The first one can be found passing through these beautiful streets of the village and it is right through this access gate you see right behind me. Let's go and have a look. Once we pass through the gate, we arrive at this lovely square from where we can access to several areas of the property. It is 1,257 square meters in total with 16 bedrooms and 15 bathrooms. Through this door on my right, we access to the main areas of the palazzo. Whilst through the doors right in front, we get to another part of the building which needs to be restored, but ideally it could be turned into a wonderful spa or a gym. Let's now start having a look at the property from this door right here. The first space we walk into is this really charming area right here. It is mostly used in the summer days. In fact, as we keep going, you will see it ends onto the garden and swimming pool area. And in fact, you can see how there is a pizza oven right there to be used in the summer with your friends or with your family. As we keep going, we find a bathroom, a changing room for the swimming pool. And over here, there then is a kitchen that can be used together with the barbecue right outside to cook some amazing summer lunches or dinners. And now finally, we get into the garden. Have a look at this gorgeous outdoor space. This is the ideal location to spend some time with your friends and with your family in the warmer seasons of the year. Right there in the end, you can notice the barbecue I was telling you about. Through these steps, we can get to the lower terrace with a beautiful garden right in front of this Umbria view. As you can see, there are two sun beds to enjoy the sun in the warmer seasons. Let's have a look at the swimming pool. Before talking about the swimming pool, I would like to show you from the height of this terrace how we can see the second access of the property. It is right at the end of the garden and right in front of it you can also find an area where it is easy to park your car. And now have a look at this gorgeous swimming pool. It is now covered because we are in the winter time but have a look at what it's like when we are in the summer. It is located right on top of this terracotta paved terrace. All of this in front 
of this breathtaking Umbria infinity views. One detail that I love about this swimming pool is that half of it is outside, the other half is passing through this beautiful arch and is covered. From the swimming pool, then, the garden keeps going to this other side of the palazzo. And I have to say, it is so fascinating and charming. With these exposed stone walls, the olive tree, and the view on the palazzo. As we walk towards this other side of the garden, you realize how this place, despite being so private and intimate, is right in the center of the village, with a gorgeous view on the main square right below this wall. Have a look. On that side of the garden, we find as well this jacuzzi under these wooden boards. It is embedded just in the middle of this beautiful terracotta. And right beside the jacuzzi, we find this door you see on my left. Through this door, we get to an apartment independent from the rest of the palazzo. And it is very charming and with some antique finishes. The owners call it La Grotta, which means the cave. Have a look. Let's now have a look at the inside of the building. It is structured on four levels and divided as follows. The ground floor, which we have just seen, whilst on the first floor, which the owners call Casa Nostra, which means our home, since they live there and is their current dwelling, which can be accessed from the garden or the main stairwell of the palazzo. The second floor, with seven bedrooms and six bathrooms is where we find another large apartment that can be used as a single unit or for rental purposes as three smaller apartments. Finally, we have the third floor with a loft apartment, the access to one of the two towers and some laundry and storage spaces. From the staircase by the garden, we access to this fantastic living space. We are on the first floor with a total of six bedrooms and six bathrooms. This space right here is one of the main areas of this floor with this imposing fireplace completely made out of stone and these gorgeous double height ceilings. And also have a look at these beautiful proportions. The living space straight away brings us on one side to this hallway with these beautiful vaulted ceilings, one bathroom, a really large bedroom on my right, and in the end we find the second bedroom. Whilst if we go to the other side of the living area, we access to the main entrance room of this floor, which can actually also be accessed through this door from the other entrance of the palazzo. And I love these beautiful terracotta floors with this typical square pattern. Now, let's have a look at the kitchen up these steps. Have a look at this kitchen. It is really large and can host several people. I love how these walls are made of exposed stone, the wooden beams, and the typical fireplace like in the old days. Before I show you the upper floors, let me first show you the rest of the bedrooms of this apartment. It starts with a large office space over there that could also be used as a bedroom. 
Then it keeps going and we find three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Have a look. Through this large and beautiful staircase, we find the access to the rest of the floors. Through this door, we get to the second floor with the apartments that I'm about to show you. Whilst through this other door right behind me, we get to the third and last floor of the property with a cozy loft apartment where we can notice all of the fully restored wooden beams of the roof. Then we find access to one of the two towers of the property with some gorgeous view of Monte Martani, which are close by, ideal for walks in the nature. Then we also have a view of the village of Cesi, and in the distance we can notice the mountains covered in snow. In fact, for the lovers of skiing, it is possible to get there in 30 or 45 minutes drive. Let's now have a look at the second floor. Essentially, it is one very large apartment and right now it is conveniently divided into three smaller units for rental purposes. Let's have a look at the first one. The first apartment straight away opens into this huge living space. It's impressive how literally every space has such high ceilings. Have a look at the terracotta and the beautiful wooden beams. This room has a view on this side, on the mountains for skiing I told you about earlier, whilst on this other one we have a view on the beautiful Umbria landscape. Let's have a look on this other side where we find this really cozy area with a dining table over here. On my left there is this little kitchen with a view as well on the landscape and then we have two bedrooms that share in the middle a bathroom. The second apartment as well starts with an imposing living area. It is huge with some wonderful high ceilings and this gorgeous fireplace in the middle for some cozy winter days. Right. On this side, we find two of the bedrooms, each one with its own bathroom. Have a look. The floor then keeps going with its third apartment. It is totally covered in terracotta and it has three bedrooms, each one with its ensuite bathroom. I love this unit because it perfectly blends the imposing proportions of ancient palazzos with these really high ceilings and large rooms with the typical Italian country home style with these really colorful furniture pieces, the kitchen and this gorgeous marble top on this table. Have a look at how cozy this kitchen is. The kitchen is directly connected to this breakfast room which is inside one of the two towers of the palazzo and it is indeed one of the best light points of the whole property with these three windows that give so much light and a gorgeous view 
that in the morning is for sure a pleasure to look at. And now we are on top of the higher tower of the property with a gorgeous 360 degree view all around. From up here, it is much easier to understand this home. As we look down, we can notice the garden we walk through, the village right below, and these infinity views from Umbria landscapes. This property is without a doubt full of character, charm and stories to tell. I hope you liked it and I would love to show it to you personally if you come to Italy. One last thing I would like to tell you before I leave you is to please subscribe to the Romolini channel for videos like this every week. I will see you soon. Ciao!